List seven, I like to move it, move it. The root we're working on today is tract. This is a Latin root that means to pull or draw. And the first word is tract, oh, sorry, let's go through your list. So the list of words are tractor, traction, distract, abstract, detract, contract, and attract. So when I think of the root tract, this is the first word that pops into my mind tractor and it is a large vehicle used to pull for farm equipment so when i think of that word tract i think of a tractor that pulls farm equipment and so that helps me remember what the root tract means your next wor word is traction so this is is the action of drawing or pulling something over a sur surface or it is the grip of a tire on a road sometimes you might um, hear adults say I need new tires so that I have good traction during the winter. Um, so it's the grip of the tire on the road so that the car or the vehicle can pull you or whatever else is in your car across a surface or a road. Next is distract. So this is to prevent someone from giving full attention to something. So if you've ever watched a rodeo, you have uh, rodeo clowns is usually what we call them. And so this is a picture of after the bull rider um, either has their full ride or they get bucked off, the um, rodeo clown distracts the bull so that the uh, rider can safely um, get out of the arena. So the rodeo, or the rodeo clown prevents the bull from giving their full attention to the rider um, and helps keep them safe. Your next word is abstract, and this is something that exists in thought but does not have a physical presence. So think about the word love. When we think about the word love, it exists in thoughts, um, but it doesn't have a physical presence. So I can't go to the store and buy love because it's not something physical or something I can hold. Um, that's kind of abstract. I, abstract is an abstract concept. It exists... Um, is something we talk about that exists in thought. We can think about it, we have it, we feel it, but we actually don't have something physical that we can touch and feel with it. Detract is to reduce the strength, value, or importance of something. Um, so if I, every single day, give you a lunch bunch, then I am detracting or taking away the value of it. So you're not going to want a lunch bunch because it's not, the, not something special anymore. So to detract is to reduce the strength, value, of or importance of something. Contract is to make something smaller sh or shorter or something to become smaller. So in this picture, this person's holding um, that red squeeze ball. If that person squeezes their hand. They're contracting the ball. It's going to become smaller or shorter. So I think of um, forces coming together to make something, just squeeze, um, squeeze something together to make it smaller or shorter, contract. Sometimes you'll say to contract your muscles. And attract. So this is to draw by physical force, causing or tending to approach, adhere, or unit. So what I think of this is magnets. Um, magnets either attract or repel. So if you have two magnets and they're trying to get together, to draw together by physical approach or by physical force, that is attract. Okay, it's an, an antonym for attract is repel and that's when the magnets are pushing um, away from each other. So on your homework, you see um, a column for spelling and a column for vocabulary. So I'm gonna go back to your list of words and I need you to write them in order of the easiest to the hardest words that you think to spell. So there's your list, write them what you think is the easiest word, the whole way down to what you think is the hardest word. And then with vocabulary and the definitions, what is the easiest word that you, to remember the definition and what is the hardest word? So you should fill in um, and rank your words from easy to hard for spelling and rank your words from easy to hard with the definition.